me Simi and welcome to another exciting episode of La Mesa L'Oreal Paris your one stop for everything beauty so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the notification bell so that you are notified and updated every time we upload a new video so today we have in store for you a mask makeup look that will make your eyes look really glamorous um you know especially because we're wearing a mask and our eyes are the only thing that's in focus so i thought why not share a few techniques that will help you you know contour your eyes and highlight your eyes to let your eyes do the talking and as usual all of the products that we'll be using today are mentioned in the description box below so do check them out and for today's video i decided to call up ankita chaturvedi aka coralista who is also our viewers favorite to help us out with this look. So without wasting any more time, let's call on Kita. Hi Ankita, how are you doing? It's always good to have you back on this channel. Hi Simi, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me back. Tell me how are you doing and what are we doing here today? Oh well, um I was actually thinking let's get a bit technical about eye makeup and let's teach our viewers how to contour and highlight the eyes. I think that's a great idea because the eyes are so much more in focus now because we are all wearing masks. So I love the idea and I'm very excited to see what we are going to create here together today. All right then, let's get started. So now since we're already done with our base, let's move on directly with the concealer. And the one that I'm going to go for today is by L'Oreal Paris. It's the Infallible Full Wear Concealer and I'm in the shade 312 Amber. I use the same shade as me. I use three one two amber as well. I like to use this over my eyelids as well to sort of prime my eyelids, and it also gives this nice base before you start with your eye makeup, so that your you know eye shadows can actually pop a bit more. I've been doing that lately as well, and I've noticed like you know my eye shadow even lasts longer when I use, especially something which is like transfer proof and waterproof like this concealer. And see me I also really like the large doe foot applicator. I find that it just makes the application so easy and it gives just really nice coverage as well. Yeah. And you don't really need a lot of product because you know it's this full wear concealer. So you have to use just a very tiny amount of this and it literally conceals everything. And it brightens like the eyes so well. I'm using a small blending sponge. I find it works really nicely with, you know, a full coverage concealer like this. Yeah, I'm using a damp sponge too. And you know, apart from that, this concealer is also waterproof and transfer proof, so it's like perfect for the weather and also because, you know, we'll be wearing mask, so it's not going to transfer onto your mask. I know I've been using this a lot lately especially on days when I need to spe step out and I know that I'll be wearing a mask for a long time and it just uh, holds up so well with the humidity and with you know the mask as well. Okay so I think I'm done. I'm just blending it a little more in this inner corner because that's where I have like a lot of darkness and I just need to brighten the shadows here. Okay so I have blended my concealer now and to set it we are going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Pressed Powder and I really like this because this gives me very good oil control my makeup doesn't move around at all once I've used the concealer and set it with the powder So Ankita what's your routine like these days like what do you been up to So me there was something that I've been putting off for a long time and that is you know becoming a morning person basically and lately I've started doing that so I wake up quite early and I try to like finish the most difficult parts of the uh, you know work right in the morning and I find that that really helps me sort of manage my stress levels because I have finished up the hardest bit of the day right in the morning that's actually really nice um even I should actually you know start doing that because i think my morning start very very late uh but yeah i'm taking inspiration from you and from tomorrow my morning will start early but anyway um i'm done with powder let's move on to the next step okay so what are we doing next i was thinking brows let's uh you know start with our brows so for that i have the l'oreal paris brow artist expert i'm going to use the same and you know naturally i have fairly full brows uh and this just gives me that little bit of lift and you know makes my brows look a little fuller 
yes same uh with me the only problem is that my brows are not identical at all so one is like straight and the other one has an arch so i have to literally draw the other one to match the other one ah uh, that's challenging yeah I really like the triangular tip. I find that it just makes application very quick and easy. So I'm just going to use this poly bit of it and start brushing the hair upwards. That's exactly what I'm doing. I love doing that because I've got like quite dense hair. Uh-huh. And I absolutely need something like this like a spoolie or a brush to, you know, align them properly. But now um I'm going to start filling in and I'm going to, you know, leave this bit like the starting portion and I'm going to start right here. And light feathery strokes I'm going to take it backwards. And I like how you can be like really precise with this brush. You can really do like mimic the hair strokes when you are filling the brows. Mhm. Mm and also the shade is really nice you know it's not too dark yeah it's not too brown it's just perfect <clears throat> it's perfect i love how this has this natural finish like even if you fill in your brows and like shape it it doesn't look like you know uh, too much yeah it doesn't look heavily done i really like that as well okay and with that i am done with the brows i'm done too So now that we are done with our brows we are going to move on to eyeshadow and I'm using the L'Oreal Paris La Petite eyeshadow palette in maximalist and I love this very warm palette of colors like it just works so well for indian skin tones what are you going to use Simi So um I was thinking I'm going to start with contouring my eyes and for that I'm going to go in with uh you know the last shade on this palette the smoky ashy shade And I'm going to use okay. a fluffy brush and I'm going to start putting that on the crease. So this is a technique in which you know you can really add a lot of focus to your eyes you can add drama to your eyes and uh let's get started I'm going to use the same shade semi but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it a little bit with that rust color so I'm going to dip my brush in both the shades before I go in with the application And I think it's also important to understand what kind of brush goes with uh you know what technique you cannot really use uh, any brush when it comes to doing your eye shadow uh especially when you're doing a lot of blending uh um I like to use a fluffy brush to start with uh, around my crease area because this sort of helps in uh, you know diffusing the shade all over the eye I like to do the same. I love going with a nice fluffy brush to give that nice uh you know soft wash of color and you can always uh intensify it later but to start off I think it's a good idea to start with a soft wash. Yeah. And when you're contouring your eyelid always start from the outer corner like that. and place your brush right underneath your brow bone like this just feel your uh, you know socket and then go backwards and you know like front and back like that i do the same and i also like to kind of connect that eye shadow with the outer part of my lash line and just drag it a little bit along the lash line as well to just add a little more uh you know depth to the lashes I love how easy it is to blend these shadows like they're so pigmented and super easy to blend. Yeah, sometimes I find you know darker shades can be a bit challenging to blend but these are very velvety and uh they blend really easily and I'm mixing I'm mixing the two shades and sometimes that can result in a patchy application but I think this is uh blending very seamlessly. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm using those same colors and taking them from the outer corner along my lower lash line. I find that that really adds a spotlight to the eyes. It just makes your eyes look really uh dramatic and I love doing that especially with a slightly darker color. And I think another important tip would be to just keep blending. And you know, blending actually takes a lot of time, so but you don't really want harsh edges especially yeah. um, when you're doing eye shadow so take your time and blend it really well yeah so that is kind of especially if you're using more than one color you want it to diffuse 
very uh, smoothly into each other so you want to make sure you blend well I'm now going to take that lightest shade from the palette, the soft gold color. And I'm going to place it near the inner corner here. So I've done the contouring on the outer and the upper bit here and the highlighting is for the inner corner. I'm doing the exact same techniques and shades on the other eye now. Yeah, I'm um, also on the other eye. All right, Ankita, I think I'm done with the eyes. Are you done? Yes, I'm done as well. So what's the next step? Next is my favorite part and that is highlighting. So we are going to highlight uh, our eyes and also place the highlighter in a few other places just to complete the look. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Le Bar a blush in the shade Be Brave and this is one of my favorite highlighters. It's such a beautiful warm color and I love that creamy velvety uh, texture that it has. Same, I love it too. And this is just gonna bring everything together. So what I'm doing is first I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to place this on the brow bone. Just to highlight this area nicely. You know, I love um, highlighting my brow bone and my inner corners because I feel like it instantly glams up um, an eye look, you know instantly glams it up and just makes your eyes look so much brighter as well i've noticed that especially with the inner corner and for the inner corner you know you can use your finger or you can use a small brush i'm just going in with a brush today so i think i'm done highlighting my eyes i'm also gonna sort of uh, you know highlight my cheekbones while we're at it i'm just going to do the same just placing it on the top part here and I'm also doing that technique, Simi, that you had taught me of taking the color up above the brow in the temple region. Yeah, it really works, you know. It just really uh, adds so much, um, you know, light and glamour to the entire eye area and the top part of your face. Yeah, I mean, I felt like I was doing the, uh, the forehead highlighting uh, part a bit wrong all this while well because when you're closer to your brows it sort of reflects a lot more than just placing the highlight on the center of your forehead yeah i love how glamorous my eyes are looking with this contouring and highlighting technique that we've used today what do you think simi yeah i mean we look so glamorous it's so sad that we have to sit in our homes being this glammed up i know um i wish we could go out i mean speaking of which are you are you traveling anytime soon I am actually traveling soon uh, because travel is reopening and I haven't seen my fiance in nearly six months. I'm going to the UK and we're going to have like a nice quiet country vacation. Oh wow, that's so sweet and cute. I'm so happy for you. I mean, you haven't seen him in you. six months. That's, that's cute and that you're, you know, going to meet him. But anyway, enough of chit chat. Let's get on to our makeup that we've started. But before that, if you guys want to check out the smudge proof mask makeup look that Ankit created previously on our channel then check this link out here and with that let's move on to the next step which is a mascara uh, to sort of bring everything together and I have the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara so I'm using the same mascara Simi and mascara is probably my favorite eye makeup product it just adds so much drama and I don't know how people sometimes skip this for me mascara is an essential yeah I, I totally get what you mean um, you know even on the days when I'm not wearing any eyeshadow mascara is a must it just sort of opens up your eye and just gives that drama that you need you know yeah and I love how this distributes the product really evenly I really like the wand also, it doesn't clump and it doesn't flake and it's a very, you know, solid, dependable mascara. It's waterproof, so it's the perfect uh, one to use, especially in the monsoons. Yeah, and also in case if you're in a hurry and you don't have the time to use, uh, you know, the, the curler and everything, this is that one mascara that'll just curl and lift your lashes and also, you know, give it length and volume. I just like to place the wand at the base of my lashes and then I like to do a lot of this left right sort of wiggling motion to coat the lashes really well and I always do like my outer lashes first and then I go in towards the inner lashes you know I've started using your technique of uh, doing the the corners yeah. yeah like how you taught me last time yeah and it really works yeah it makes such a difference it gives such a nice 
sort of lift and shape to your eye when you you know catch those corner lashes yeah it's like you're wearing a a lash you know yeah so my upper lashes are nearly done i'm going to also use this on my bottom lashes and i never skip this step all right so with that i am done with the mascara and the look and i love how uh, glamorous uh, my eyes look with this technique that we tried to do me the contouring and the highlighting what do you think i love the eye makeup it's so wearable it's simple at the same time it's it's this you know statement look that i feel every girl can actually pull off very easily yeah and i think it's quite beginner friendly as well uh, it's quite simple so uh, people can definitely try this at home oh for sure so thank you so much ankita for sparing uh, a little bit of your time to teach us these techniques it was so much fun shooting with you as usual and i hope to see you again soon thank you simi it was such a pleasure being here and i will see you soon again bye So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look that we created and all of the hacks and all of the tricks that we shared with you guys. In case if you also have any more tips regarding this, please let me know in the comment section so that we can try it out next time. And as usual, all of the products that we've used are mentioned in the description box below, so do check it out. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you are notified and updated every time we upload a new video on La Maison, L'Oréal Paris. And that's it. Signing off for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.